What is going on you guys? Welcome to another episode. Today, I am out in the wild with the camper van and I've got Kiara with me. And for the next 24 hours, we are doing a survival challenge uh, where I am not allowed to eat anything that I did not either catch or forage. We are still up in the mountains right now and uh, I didn't bring any ice with me. So to fill the cooler, you can see I brought a snow shovel. Uh, I'm gonna fill it with snow. We're gonna need that out in the desert because it's gonna be really dry and really hot out there. And that way, hopefully, if we catch something uh, or forage something that we can eat, then we can keep our food cool. What I'm hoping is to find maybe some snow up on uh, these north slopes of this hill here. Oh, oh, goodness. <laughs> Does that feel good? This here feels at least like two or three bags of ice, which is awesome. <laughs> what do you think, Kiker? <laughs> this here, this is lichen, uh, it grows on trees. This stuff here is actually completely dry. If we collect a little bit more of this, this could be a perfect fire starter for later tonight. Here's some more lichen that I found. Perfect fire starter. All right, welcome to the camper van. Oh, I gotta turn on some light in here first. So right here, I've just got some basic supplies. Here's our cooler that was in desperate need of some snow. Uh, we got firewood, we got some charcoal. I've got a blow up kayak in case we need to fish uh, any lakes and can't catch anything from shore. And here's the challenge for this video, guys. Not just, not just are we doing a 24 hour survival challenge where I can only eat what I catch but we're up in the stakes and it has to be caught with something out of this mystery tackle box. That's right guys, thanks to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. Now, if you guys don't know what a mystery tackle box is, well, it is exactly what the name implies. It's a tackle box and its contents are a mystery to me as well because this box here is still completely sealed. So yeah, uh, this is gonna be lovely. We're gonna have to catch fish to survive and I don't even know how I'm gonna catch them. Come on, baby. There we go. Of course, I had to grab one of those waters for the road. Uh, as you can see, I've got two poles hanging up there. Whatever tackle's on there, we can't use. We're going to have to use whatever is inside the mystery tackle box. So, no bullet lure today. Now we're gonna take these branches. All right, this van is where we're gonna be living the next couple days. Now I would fish this lake here, but uh, <laughs> years ago a park ranger uh, told me to not bother fishing this lake because there's no fish in it, uh, because they drain this lake every year. And I actually saw it with my own eyes two weeks ago. The lake was completely empty. Now it's full again. So what we're just gonna do now is stop by a few places on the way out to the property and uh, fish them as we go. Hopefully get lucky somewhere and catch some, some food for tonight. It's adventure time. We gotta go catch some fish. Good girl. <laughs> Look at that little monkey. She thinks she's gonna be driving. <laughs> Look at you, are you driving? I don't think so, missus. I don't think so. Now, if you guys haven't met Kiara before, she's one of my two girls. I've got a little toy poodle as well, but uh, she stayed home. Today, it's just Kiara and daddy time. So uh, we're gonna just see how she does out at the property because there's rattlesnakes and wild coyotes. Feel free to subscribe, of course. You don't have to. You can just enjoy the episode. Either way, I appreciate all you guys uh, enjoying the videos and uh, all your love and support. Tree, 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 tree. Can we make it or are we gonna hit it? Oh, just barely skimmed by that tree. We uh, got to the lake. What do you think, Kiara? 
We're gonna get some fish here. Let's give it a try, it looks good. It's actually right off the freeway. A good friend of mine told me that this lake here should be filled with trout. So it's kind of what Mystery Tackle Box's motto is, is that it's like Christmas every month when this box shows up. And it kind of feels like Christmas, man. Or I, maybe like my birthday, because that's a little bit closer than Christmas. So let's find out what's inside. We're gonna find out together. I haven't even, okay. All right, I'm kind of nervous. Oh my, oh, what the? All right. Okay, so, so far I've only ever seen Mystery Tackle Boxes on like bass fishing channels, but this here is their trout and panfish uh, box. This, oh my goodness, this is off to a very, very good start. We've got bobbers in here. <laughs> yes, yes, bobbers. Then we've got uh, little, just like little standard yellow grub worms. Uh, more little soft plastics. Man, I'm, I'm not a soft plastic fisherman, guys. I know a lot of you keep saying use soft plastic, so now I'm kind of going to be forced to to probably use some. What the? I don't even know what this is. So it glows. It comes with little like glow sticks that I can put inside the spoon. That might be something that we could fish kind of in the evening as it gets darker potentially. Oh, spinner! <laughs> yes. This is a, a the lake lunkers. That's a giant bait. That's a big bait. I don't know if we're, there's big trout like that here. That, man, maybe we could catch a bass or something. And we've just got some more little soft plastics. I'll just leave a link in the video description below to MTB. Uh, feel free to use code NWFS to get your first mystery tackle box for just 10 bucks. That way you guys can just try it out, see how you like it. Let's maybe try and just cast this spinner here. Now as always guys, if you're got packaging and stuff like that, let's just go ahead and keep it in our box, always pack out more. Speaking of which, <laughs> pack out more than you guys pack in. Kids, you didn't see that. I wasn't just too lazy to go grab the uh, line cutters. See how it spins in the water? Oh yeah. Huck that baby out as far as we can. <laughs> <laughs> we got one right away, man. <laughs> Second cast, baby. Second cast, it was a small rainbow. Nailed this guy. But he was so small, oftentimes the little ones don't get the uh, lure into their mouth far enough. Uh, there's no minimum size here, but I would like to get something ideally a little bit bigger than that. I just want to make sure that Kiara and I have something to eat, and then we can find a place to camp. But so far, good start. And that osprey keeps teasing me. So he keeps landing in a tree up there and they're watching for a fish from up high. Man, I just want to see him catch one, but I need to catch a fish too. The sun is uh, slowly dipping away behind the horizon. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna pull the kayak out and we're, yeah, we're gonna deploy the kayak, baby. It's not hot out, but I'll still just lower the window just so she gets some fresh air. There we go. <laughs> this is uh, yeah, a little, little cramped. I'm supposed to have my legs all the way in there, but I can't fit in there with my boots. I just want to be able to get out a little bit into the deeper water. What if I like lay my legs like this? There, that's a little more comfortable. So we're just gonna do a troll over to that side and back and kind of see how that goes. <laughs> 
Oh, is that a hit? Oh, that's a fish spot. It's a fish on, baby. Yes. Oh, he's a jumper. He's a jumper. All right. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can't blow this chance. He's not a giant. Definitely not a giant. But it's food. There is no minimum size, so we will not discriminate. Oh, it's a trout. It's a trout. It's a trout. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Little rainbow trout. No giant by any means. But when we got to survive, we got to survive. Oh, he spit it. He spit it. He spit it. Perfect little meal. Uh, we're going to bonk him, get him out of his misery right away. There we go. <laughs> Fish bonker. You know, it's going to smell a little fishier the next couple days, but we're going to keep him in there. I don't want to accidentally lose him. Little spinner did it. Oh, look, he's got eyes on him. <laughs> Ooh, guys, we might have just stumbled into another food source. We got cattails growing here. Ooh, this is good. This is really good. I'm sure you all know this plant here. It's called a, a cattail. And look at all that fuzzy stuff coming out of it. <laughs> There's actually fresh. Look at that, fresh cattails. Apparently you can eat like the, the roots. You can eat the whole plant from what I understand. There we go. That's what I want to get is the, the bottom of the plant. Apparently this is what you want to eat is the, the lighter colored stuff. Oh, the osprey. Oh, 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 he crashed in the water. Did you guys see that? Oh, I don't think he got a trout, he missed. Oh, ospreys are so cool. I hope you guys saw that on the GoPro. It's not, that wasn't zoomed in at all. Oh, there he goes again. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think this time he got one. Yeah, he got a trout. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Osprey. Oh, that's so cool. Looks like you got a trout about that big. There we go. Now we're talking. All right, I think that's enough cattails. <laughs> now we're gonna try and catch some more fish. Man, should we try this giant minnow? I just don't know, this thing is so big. You know what, let's, let's do something weird. Let's try this weird glow. I don't even know how this thing would work. It's that nice heavy little spoon. That actually might not be bad for casting. This could be good for walleye fishing tomorrow. If, if we end up doing that. So the way a glow stick usually works is you snap it. Oh yeah, it's glowing. It's glowing in there. All right, and we are popping that glow stick into the lure. And that, wow, that is actually glowing in there. So now we have a lure with a little glowing core. Maybe this will be our lucky lure since it is getting darker now. Man, look at that beautiful sunset. So we're hopefully we can pick up at least one more fish. Uh, that way both Kiara and I have something to eat. Right now only Kiara has something to eat. That, that fish will go to her. Come on, baby. So you try a couple of casts with it first. This thing could do pretty good down deeper because of that glowing. Oh, oh, I thought we had a bite. I thought we had a bite. That would be crazy on the first cast with it. Oh, a fat trout just jumped right there next to us. Oh, that's a fish! Fish on, baby! No, 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 no! Oh, we lost him, we lost him! Ah, oh, I, I fumbled the rod, I fumbled the rod. That's good, that's good, let's keep going, let's keep going. This bait might be working, they like the glow, they like the glow. I think I was going a lot slower. It might have also sank to the bottom a bit. It was right after I let out some line. Oh, there's just trout jumping everywhere. Let me give a little bit of action with our... Uh... Oh, there he is, there he is. That's a fish on, baby. Better one, better one. Oh, he's coming at us, he's coming at us. Come on, baby. Come on, no, don't want to lose the paddle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's a way better one, way better one. Way better one on the glow spoon. You know, we're going to boat flip him. There he goes. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. I think this this is more like a vertical jigging lure. That's what I did with that trout. I just gave it a little bit of action and boom, he was on it. I'm just sitting in fish slime. <laughs> He's no monster, but way bigger than that first one that we got. 
Uh, so this is, now, now we're no longer gonna suffer. We've actually got some substantial food. So we're gonna throw them right over here to the other one. That sun is totally setting now. Just gonna let out some line, maybe let that thing sink down deep where it's dark. And then from there we could do some vertical jigging. Oh, that's a fish on, baby! Right by the boat! Right by the boat. Oh my goodness. Oh! Boat flip. Oh, <laughs> oh we're gonna survive. <laughs> Damn, that lure is fire. That lure is fire. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. oh my goodness. Look at that. We've got our veggies. We've got three fish in the boat. Oh my goodness. What if we throw on that giant thing? What if we throw this on? Are we, you know, may, maybe we won't catch anything. Maybe there's nothing big enough in this lake for that, but maybe we'll catch a monster. Thank you, little buddy. You're going right back in there. Okay. Look at this thing. It's got rattles inside. I know that trout do like these kind of baits, but it's just so big. Oh, that thing is kind of a... Oh, that, that's got an interesting underwater action. Let's go ahead and let some line out. Let that thing way back behind the boat. Let's go, baby. Let's go. So with that little lip on the front of the bait, it should dive down somewhat deep. Oh, oh, it got hit. It got hit. Oh, something hit it. Something already hit it. That's what the... No way. I'll let out some more line here. Oh, that's a, oh, that was a fish. Oh my goodness. It, I just gave it some slow action like that. Didn't hook up, I should have set the hook. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. But we're not starving by any means. I just, th this would just be cool to catch a trout on this monster bait. No more action on this bait here. We're just gonna throw this little glow bait on there one more time. Oh, that's a fish already. That's a good one. Oh, you lost him. No. Oh, that was a good one. Man, that, that one we just lost might have been the biggest of the day, guys. Oh, that's a fish on. Fish on doesn't feel huge. Oh, no, no, he's good, he's good. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 he's good, he's good. That's that's a good food fish. Oh, man, that sunset, dude, this is, let's get a sunset fish. Oh, there he is, that's a fish on, baby. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, here we go. Oh, and he's off, he's off. He's a little small. We already got some good ones. Let's see how he does in the water. Maybe we'll just let him go if he swims off. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Oh. You know what, we already have four fish and we've got enough fish for tonight and probably for breakfast tomorrow. That was insane. And look at that thing glow in there. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> hey Kiker, what's going on? Look at this, oh, look at that, it's food. I don't know man, not the most exciting thing. Gonna sprinkle a little snow over them just so they stay nice and cold. <laughs> that sounded so satisfying. <laughs> I believe the edible part is really just the stem, that white part down there. So we're not even gonna take the rest. We'll just leave that here. This off, this here can go right back to the lake. Oh man, it can. Ugh. Classy. <laughs> All 
That doesn't need to stay there. Pack that out. We're gonna head to an area now where we can camp right at a little creek, have a little fire, cook up the fish. What a day. What a day, huh? <laughs> there we go. got our protection with us as always. Remember guys, wildlife is highly unlikely to ever attack you unless you like provoke it or there's like young involved and stuff. We're just deep in the country here. So uh, rather have it and not need it than uh, need it and not have it. did it. Not a whole lot of things more satisfying than starting up a fire with just your bare hands. All right, man. So we're just gonna kind of chill now. I am getting really hungry, so we're gonna pull out that fish. We're probably just gonna cook it on the fire. Probably gonna cook it on the fire. No plan for tonight at all. I'm just gonna like get some of the footage off the SD cards onto my computer. For this delicious little trout here, we've got some red pepper extract, olive oil, we're gonna rub it in, and then of course, the Danish sea salt. Oh, man, this is looking really good. I'm starving, guys. Are we about to have dinner? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, no, 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 don't dig away the fire pit. Don't put your paws in the fire, you doofy dog. No, <laughs> you little monster. Look at that roasted trout. <laughs> Do you want some of that? 
Okay, but you gotta stay there. Oh, you're a good girl. Okay. What was that? <laughs> she just farted. Here we go, Jet. Oh, I'm gonna try some of these fins. Mm. Just eat the whole darn thing. Oh, dude. Mm. Here we go. The skin, super, super crunchy. The smokiness, a little bit of a char. There we go. Mm. Got to get every last piece of meat off of there. There we go. Mm. Mm. Bam. <laughs> Don't worry, we got more. We got more. You see, Kiara, we're listening to coyotes probably just over the hills there howling. There's a pack of them. Kiara hears them, of course. But really, that right there is uh, why we have to keep Kiara on a leash so that she doesn't go wander off. It's very rare that wild animals will actually come into your camp and attack you there. Uh, it's, it, it's more the danger of if a dog or a small kid or someone wanders off into the dark, you know, out into the woods uh, by themselves, that, that's when they could get overwhelmed by a pack of coyotes. Um, so we're just sticking around around camp here listening to the sounds of nature it's beautiful to listen to wild animals like that it's the wild west baby it really is still the wild west which i just think is so cool that that we still have that you know oh monkey are you tired it's all right daddy is too Good morning, Garm. Oh, a bird just flew in the window. Let go. Oh, no. Here's the creek that I want to fish. Oh, brown. We'll give it a shot, but um, we might not spend too much time fishing here if it looks like that. I just feel like completely out of energy, like I need more carbs. One thing I realized that we never ate were those um, cattails, and that would be a source of carbs. So we'll probably have those here for kind of like a brunch. Um, let's try and fish though. I just want to fish before like the sun rises too high and it gets gets too hot. So we're gonna try out these weird jigs. And I think on it we're gonna throw these little things. If the water's murky, I like to fish just something a little darker. I feel like the fish can see that better. Let's see if that little guy can get something. <laughs> up a lot of just weeds <laughs> with that little lure it's the wind is just killing me here too it's really hard um, to fight both the wind and the current oh man i did not expect the water to be this murky 
Usually the water here is super, super clear. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, we might have to go try a different spot. Now that it's daylight and everything, we'll see how she does off leash. I don't know if the rattlesnakes are out yet. I think they come out a little later in the spring, but really the goal is that she can just run around and you know, do her thing while I do my thing. I just need to know that she sticks close. Just gonna pick up a little bit of trash around camp here. Come here, big girl. Come here. <laughs> Garrett, what are you doing? Unbelievable. I knew you were going in the water. Get over here. Uh, uh. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> we're just going to return everything exactly the way it was. It's almost time to cook up some more trout, huh? Mm. Just an old bag. Drop it off with the next stuff. Uh, trash can that we find. The ultimate tease we've driven past probably 20 mexican restaurants now there's the burger king in front of us and arby's all now we're in fast food lane all right so we're gonna stop by a spot here where we hopefully can catch some walleye uh we might just cook up a trout real quick and some of those uh cattails before hitting the walleye spot just to get some energy in me i, I forgot to eat those cattails last night and uh, supposedly they're loaded with carbohydrates, which is probably really what I need. I need some carbs, baby. <laughs> I can't even talk car carbs, carbs, carbohydrates. All right, so we're pulling up here at a random Walmart. <laughs> and we might try to cook, trout up some cook. We're gonna trout up some cook in the parking lot. Walmart parking lot, everyone. We could sleep here if we wanted to, but we're not going to. We're heading to my land afterwards. <laughs> Last of our little trout here. <laughs> uh, I've eaten cattail once before and it made like my throat on fire. Like it was really weird, like I poisoned myself. But then I read that can happen if you eat cattail raw. So it's better to cook it, I guess. I don't know, but not everyone reacts to it like that. So I hope that doesn't happen again. chili from the oil it's just like <coughs> oh. <laughs> yeah we're gonna score the skin on this trout just so he doesn't curl up into a hot mess mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this is the first time on this channel that we're cooking fish in the Walmart parking lot. You know it's gonna happen one of these days. I'm not used to this whole like urban fishing and urban cooking thing. I wanna be up way up high in the mountains with you guys fishing those alpine lakes, but they're still completely snowed in. So, so voila, Walmart parking lot it is. <laughs> and from here, we're gonna head to a spot that Maybe we can catch walleye from shore. <laughs> that would be crazy. And that's apparently something that only works right now, this time of year in April. Okay, we've got our Walmart trout <laughs> and cattails cooked up here. Here is ready to roll little bit of a spicy taste, but that could be the chili oil. 
No weird throat scratchiness. That's good. Honestly, like kind of a sweet, pleasant flavor. Mm. Oh yeah, no, that, that's pretty good. Is that gonna demonetize me? <laughs> All right, the head, one of Kiara's favorite, favorite parts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's get you some meat too. She's having the time of her life out here. You gotta let it cool down, baby. You gotta let it cool down. The cattails, no weird reaction to them at all. They're honestly really good. <laughs> mm, you got most of this one. Mm, fried cattails, damn, that was good. <laughs> Water's right down there, and apparently there's walleye swimming up into these waters and you can catch walleye from shore, which I've never done before. Okay, so this could be a little trickier than I thought. Ever seen anyone fishing around here? Yeah, I fish here all the time. Have a wonderful day. Her name's Kiker. <laughs> Take care. Oh, it's sad. There's a, looks like there's a homeless camp right over there and we got approached by a homeless lady. So I don't know, all I can say is if you're going through hard times, keep your head up, do something today or this week or this weekend that makes you happy, do some fishing or something. That's what keeps me, uh, keeps me happy. Okay, so we're all set up here, uh, cleaned up a little bit of trash. Kiker's all, all ready to roll. She's looking at birds over there. And we were supposed to fish over by that bridge. Now, I double checked the regulations real quick, and it turns out that that's not actually open yet, which is weird because even the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a video explaining how you have to fish that spot during April, otherwise there won't be any walleye here. So we're here in April, but it doesn't open until Memorial Day weekend, just like everything else here in Washington. So we're limited to fishing here. There's like a line and an invisible barrier where we're not allowed to fish essentially from this point uh, to over there, anywhere in stream or upstream from there. We've got uh, this little grub there, which should actually be perfect for walleye if we can get within casting distance of them which that that's going to be the tough part i'm seeing some line and stuff up in this tree so it looks like people do fish from here and the 24-hour challenge is almost over uh it is currently 1 30 p.m and i started it yesterday at 2 p.m but that's all right we can go a little over we can make a 25-hour survival challenge what do you think kiara are we ready kiara are you ready Uh-oh. Not very deep right there. That's kind of the action that you want. That's probably how you could catch walleye, bass. I don't know if that was a bite or what that was. No tooth marks or anything, so that's probably just a rock. Walleye have really big teeth, so we would see tooth marks in that lure for sure. No! Oh no! I just cast over that branch and there's a line between the two. And I've only got four pound fluoro as my leader. Come on. No! Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I want that branch to break. I don't want to lose the grub. No! I lost the grub. Damn it. <laughs> but it is now 2 p.m. That means. The 24 hour survival challenge is over and I can go get myself some food. Uh, so I think 
both Kiara and I want to say thank you to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. Remember, if you guys want to check out your own Mystery Tackle Box, try out your first one for just $10. I'll leave the link to Mystery Tackle Box in the video description below and use code NWFS. All right, Kiara and I, we are heading out to the property now. Uh, we're gonna stop by some grocery stores, just get some supplies there. And I can't wait to check out the trail cameras that I set up there the last time I was at the property just to find out what kind of wildlife is living on our land. If there's enough time, we're also gonna go search for standing or running water on the property. There's a couple spots that look promising on Google Maps. So of course, feel free to subscribe if you guys are not already. Remember to ring the notification bell, that way you guys actually get notified when the new episode drops. It'll probably be out in a few days or next week. Love you guys, thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Fish on, baby.